Look at that big shed. Might have been one of them. Yeah. It's definitely a racer. Yeah. But there's one. Going out the back. Carry on. Other one might be. Oh yeah, it's down here. Nice. Gonna leave these guys to it very gently. All right guys, today I'm out in Habitat with my friend Phil. He's way back there. We're in the coastal plain. You can see lots of pine trees around me and we're looking for snakes. We're gonna see what we can find. Come on, Phil. Dead left. Always live with the legs. Yeah, I will always. Oh man, dude, how does that not have anything? It's a beautiful flip. Disappointment. Look at all the tunnels though. Something's yeah. a bit under here. All right, so Phil just flipped the next snake of the day and he's very angry, but he's a wee little lad. He's trying to act all tough. It's just a little black racer under a piece of concrete again. Hey, we're gonna put him back. <laughs> this looks pretty good. I mean, very well have something. Look at that wee little guy. What's up, little guy? Have you seen these guys before? I've never seen a mud. See? <laughs> All right, a little road save. We've got an eastern mud turtle. Pretty cool. We're going to make sure he gets to the other side. It's a pretty quiet road, so I'm sure he would have been fine, but he'll probably appreciate the help. All right, check him out. Pretty cool. We're going to make sure he gets where he was going, and he can carry on his day, I guess. All right, so Phil flipped over a little piece of concrete and we've got another species on the day, a little ringneck snake. It's in shed, so it's kind of dull in color, but you see it's got that nice broken band on the back of the neck and the nice broken ring, I guess. So pretty cool. We're gonna put it back where it was. All right, in rapid succession, we got that first ringneck and then Phil just flipped another one. This one's a lot better looking, so you can see it's a lot more vibrant. So you can get a good look at that belly. Pretty cool, never gets old, even though it's a common snake. We're gonna put them back. We'll let them go right here. Turtle time today. I think it, it could be trying to nest in the road. It's probably gonna claw the crap out of me. It's probably not the best place to be nesting. He's gonna jump when I do this. <laughs> no, it's not nesting. Look at him. It's gonna hop. Ready? Mm. <laughs> hey. I love how it's mad at me. <laughs> All right, buddy. Stay out of the road, please. It's for your own good. Another ringneck snake here. Keep flipping these guys today, but hopefully we're gonna get into something else soon. See you later. All right, I saw a snake out the car window against this log. That's a racer. <laughs> look at him right there though. That's good though to see something on the move. Come get a closer look at him. Probably gonna take off. He's a big one. He's chilled out right now. That's a girthy racer, dude. Look how thick that is. He's also rattling his tail. That's a fat racer though. Mmm, look at this appetizing pile of roadside junk. I promise there's gonna be a red belly in this. All right, well I just picked up this woody piece of debris and got a real nice red salamander. These guys are always super cool to see and they're really different looking in the coastal plain. Somehow they're able to tolerate like really sandy, kind of upland areas and I mean it's pretty dry where I found this guy but he's chilling out well that's really cool always like seeing these guys just gonna take a quick phone picture and we're gonna put them back way now all right guys so it's been a really slow day and we're down to the wire here you can see it's starting to get dark on us and 
we found things here and there, but the video, I hate it when it's like this, but it's kind of been jumping around from find to find throughout a really slow day. But we're heading a couple more flip sites and we're hoping for something good before we close things out here. All right, guys, check this out. So Phil flipped this. Phil's flipping everything today. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh, it's on the move. It's a gorgeous corn snake though. Look at how orange that is. So pretty. What a gorgeous snake, dude. That's awesome. Got a pretty good video of it going by too. It's definitely a day maker. This corn snake is absolutely stunning. Look at this thing. It's so red. So typically in the mid-Atlantic, corn snakes are much, much rarer than they are in the south. And typically, they don't really look like this. This is a stunning individual. You can see how orange and red it is. It almost looks like an Okatee corn, which is a famous corn snake locale in the southeast. Um, it's really popular in the pet trade. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Super, super awesome. We're just really lucky to see this. We're going to take some pictures and then... We're gonna make sure that it is uh, undercover under its board so that nothing swoops in and tries to eat it or something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. All the pink on the sides too. Mm -hmm. I love how dark it is on the back half as well. All right, well that's pretty cool. Super, super awesome flip to end the day and uh, we're excited about it. I think we're gonna have to wrap things up right here for now, but I'm gonna pick it up on another day. Oh man, looks so good. Whoa, look at all the baby mice. All right, you know what? No, I'm not gonna catch these things. Someone keeps commenting on my channel, catch these mice. I'll leave them alone. Hey, a little red-bellied snake. That's pretty cool. Pretty little red-bellied snake. Like the granite on the sides of the belly. He's got that nice red stripe, pretty awesome. These guys are real common and we've seen a few of them recently and we're just gonna let them go back under here. Cool. Oh, big skink, look at that guy. Big male five-lined. He's cool. All right, I'm not quite sure what this box drill is doing. I hope it's okay. Its neck is fully extended. Oh, he just didn't see me. That's funny, I don't know if I got that on camera, but he just tucked his head in. Or she, I guess. Must have been looking for a slug or something up in here, but it looks like it had like a, a broken neck almost. It would have been really unfortunate, but cool. First interesting find of the day. I'm gonna, well, I guess I'll just leave it right where it was. I was gonna move it off this path, but I don't think anyone's around. Oh, 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 I got it on video. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yes. I knew I was gonna get one here eventually. Whoa, plain belly too? It's a freaking cool one. Whoa. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Let me get this guy in the sun. It's not the most vibrant one, but it's an older snake, so that's kind of expected. The face is just so cool. The patterning is awesome. It's kind of yellowy, and then it's got a plain stomach. But like, look at that head. What a cool snake. Wow, that's the first that I've gotten under that tin stack. Can't believe I got on video too. It's kind of like a brick red color. I've seen some here that are like vibrant bright red but he's got all sorts of cool bands and stuff on him. Look at that one. It's a good looking snake. As we speak, I can feel a tick crawling up my back. I gotta get this. 
All right, guys, I cannot believe that I was recording for that. I have no idea what the footage looks like, but I'm gonna look at it after this, and hopefully you guys can see the snake as is when I flip it. You'll at least get my reaction or the audio of it. I think this is a super cool looking snake. It's not like cherry red, but it's kind of brick red and orangey. It's got a really cool collar with eye dots and a white nose. Patterning on the side, but kind of a low band count. And then the stomach, as you can see, is just totally plain. It's a really pretty snake. Super cool. All right, well, I've taken some pictures of this guy, so now it's time for me to let him go. There we go. All right, well, that's pretty sweet. We're gonna keep looking for stuff. Mouse nest or something. Whoa, ring neck or something down there. Red belly? Red belly. Okay, grab him. There was a, was a fat little red belly. Look at that. Oh, probably grab it as heck. You want me to see him? That's a really nice looking little red belly. He took the name red belly and ran with it because he's got like a crimson red belly. He's pretty and gray on top. It's a good looking little snake. He's teeny but very fat. All right, well, we're gonna go through the rest of this and then we'll put them back. All right, letting this little red belly go. And we're gonna keep looking around. All right, well, I spent the morning flipping and I had some success, but it's getting super hot out. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive around on the roads and just see if anything crosses. That can be a good way to find snakes sometimes. All right, well, this tiny little feisty black racer was trying to cross the road and he's real charged up. You can see he's still got lots of pattern. And uh, I'll show you how fast these guys are. If I put them down here, ready? Look at that. Check this out. Look at this, a big, beautiful female diamondback terrapin. Wow. I'm just gonna make sure she gets off the road. I think maybe she saw me coming and took off. That's a beautiful turtle. Super cool, look at those big beaks they have for crushing mollusks. That's awesome. Well, we're gonna make sure this gets off the road. Oh, you can see, look, we'll put the turtle down. I'm just trying not to, there we go. But you can see right here, there's all sorts of holes that have been dug. That's neat. Wow, look at this one. Look at that, it's so light colored. That's a beautiful turtle. We're also gonna make sure this one gets off the road, but that is just awesome. It's huge too, I mean, you can see. Well, that's just awesome. I'm gonna make sure we don't waste any of this busy lady's time and we're gonna move her off the road so she doesn't get hit by a car. But that's such a cool turtle. Gotta love it. Here we go. Just gonna make sure she's over here in a safe spot and we're gonna keep driving around. All right, well, it looks like we've stumbled upon a pretty good population of diamondback terrapins, which are an awesome brackish water species of turtle. So we're just gonna drive around on this road and see if we see any more. We can help them across so they don't get hit by cars. All right, this one is, oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that shell pattern. That is a stunning turtle, wow. Look at that guy. That is awesome. I'm gonna take a quick uh, cell phone picture of this. I'm hoping this thing brings its head out because it's an absolutely gorgeous turtle. That is an awesome species of turtle. I mean, how does it get any better than that? Look at that shell pattern. That is just a prime specimen. Oh, it's coming out. Look at the white on the head. So gorgeous. Gonna make sure it gets off the road and we'll keep cruising around a little bit. All 
Well, this is a pretty fun and unexpected way to spend the middle of the day. I'm gonna see if I can find a couple more before trying to cruise more for snakes than turtles. Check out this little guy. This is not a terrapin, but it's a little eastern mud turtle. So he's living out here in the brackish water as well, which is cool. That's sweet. Lots of turtles today. I'm gonna move them across. And he should be on his way. All right guys, it's much later in the day. I decided to switch locations and we're gonna be cruising like we were earlier, but hopefully we're gonna see a lot of snakes on the road tonight. All right, we've got a copperhead getting away. Let me see if I can find him. Oh, here he is. He's gonna come back out onto the road. Woo, he's a live wire. Whoa, look at him jump. That is a, not that copperheads are an exceptionally dangerous snake, but what I mean is that this snake is not one that you would wanna to get too close with just based off the way he's jumping and all that. Yeah, you would not wanna try your luck with this feller. He just did a full jump in the air. Pretty little guy though. See, he's still got a little bit of a yellow tail. Kind of neat. That's the first snake of the night on the road. See, there he is next to my boot. I don't think he could bite through my boot, but we'll move back and we won't find out. See, this is a really pissy copperhead. Hold on, get in front of him again. Stay still. Whoa. I like it when he coils up like that. He's real pretty. Look at that. No matter how common these guys are in some areas, I mean, they are just beautiful, beautiful snakes. Can't deny that. Like, look at that pattern. All right, this should be interesting. It's not a snake that you're going to have success hooking. Come on, just go the way you're going. Yes. There we go. Come on. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go in here. There you go. Alright guys, check it out. I'm shining along here. And we have a smooth, <laughs> oh sorry, rough green snake, my bad. I'm tired, but we have a rough green snake hanging out in the bushes right here. I'm gonna see if there's any more and then I'll come back and see if I can grab this guy. All right, so I've gotta get through that to get to that guy, but I'll try real quick. Oh, it's a lot deeper than I thought. Mistakes have been made. Oh my God, there's thorns in here. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. I've got the snake though. All right guys, so I'm literally, I, I didn't realize how deep this was, but that's my way out. <sighs> All right, well it was a lot more of an ideal than I thought it was gonna be, but I got the green snake. So I'll get you guys a better look at it now, but typically I don't really like do that for these guys, but that's neat. Who doesn't like a green snake? Super cool. I think it's a much bigger one than I initially realized. That's a beautiful green snake. You can see it's got an old blemish on its head. They lose the pigmentation, or the yellow pigmentation, when they get any sorts of injuries and it turns blue. It's really, really cool. I'm going to take a quick phone picture and then I'm going to put this back, but cool add-on to the night. I always think it's so cool how they disappear into this stuff. I mean, you'd never know that it was here. You know, you're walking by. If I didn't have the light, I mean, that reflects their bellies like this, then you'd never see it. But it's awesome. We're going to keep looking around. So I'm about to hop back in my car here and I look down. Look this if you don't like spiders you probably won't like this but it is a giant female wolf spider or I assume it's the females that carry the babies and those are all 
tiny little spiders on its back. That's crazy. I mean, I'll show you relative to my foot. I mean, that's pretty big. Crazy. Wow. All right, this is only the second snake of the night. Oh, I didn't even notice his head. Right there, it's a northern water snake just hanging out. A completely harmless species that will bite pretty readily, and they also poop all over you, so I don't always touch these guys. Just spotted another water snake. This one is huge. Oh, and he's ducking down. Just spotted water snake number three. He looks like he's just out hunting, so hopefully we see some more snakes. All right, I'm wondering if this big green frog is about to eat this beetle over here. Big best beetle, or wherever you want to call it. I think we're about to witness a showdown. Look at this big fella. Whoa! Hmm. Alright, well it's seeming like snakes are real active. Look at this big fella. It's actually a very attractive water snake. Look at all the colors on the side of it. It's kind of like grayish and then it's got those nice orange blotches. And it's a big one. I mean, I'm just right here, but you can see my foot next to it. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, guys, I'm exhausted. I'm going to wrap this one up. So if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one.